Jersey.
No, 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 Gio. You know what, please? Cola doesn't understand English. So, why presenting the cola or saying anything about the cola? We must speak our mother tongue. So, the managing director, Jesco Greek, watching the men in the club, will now learn the cola.
Um, so I still want to have your point of indulgence that I give them a brief uh, biography of your person. Just briefly, sir. Okay. The AIG is from Castina State. He was born into the family of Malam Yaradua in Castina State, yes. Um, he was born on the third on the eighteenth of December. He's a Capricorn. So maybe by 18th of December, we'll check out the with us, I may have been there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he was enlisted into the Nigerian Police Force as an assistant superintendent for police. And then um, he has served in so many strategic uh, departments in the force, among which uh, he was once the CSO, he was once the person in charge of Inspector General of Police Monitoring Units under the leadership of IGP. And then he, was, he rose to the rank of Commissioner of Police and he became the Commissioner of Police in charge of Enugu State and the Edo State respectively. I want us to also know that he was a board member in the EFCC. He now even has number one swing in the to understand very well why he was a member of the EFCC, board member of the EFCC. He was deployed for Ghana school, Game course. So how we feel, that is why when you address him, you buy item AIG, Tamala Mohamed, it's the FEC, Federal World College. So he is a member. And then until his appointment as the AIG, the pioneer AIG of his zone, or AIG in charge of Special Protection Units, Abuja. Okay. So he will be for whatever. Like I said, he is by name AIG Tamala. My name is Emmanuel Patrick Madupu. I'm one of the JESCO managers. That's because of which village chairman. You're welcome, sir. My name is Nzepo Ogekema, Secretary EPA, the Town Union Government. You are highly welcome. Okay, you see? Okay. Sorry, let me go to the back. Good day, sir. My name is High Chief Michael Ogoji. Michael Ogoji. Welcome, sir. 
The representative from each village on here? Yes. First, the representative from each village, oh yeah? God will be Chukuka, Umushena village. That's the chairman of Umushena village. You are welcome. I am uh, Samuel Ezenetche, secretary of Oko village, one of the nine villages in Ekulabia. <laughs> Mr. Robert Ezamaikwa, from Ezia village, Ekulabia. Ezenetche, Alexander Chukuka. Village, village. My name is Francis Odeka. The Secretary General is an author in Colombia. His name is My name is Frank Timothy, Vice Chairman of the Village. Um, I want to tell us that now, since the assumption of office of uh, office by my boss, no one born in this city, and then he deemed it wise that at the first person will be this city to chief. So delighted that virtually all the villages be represented here. And I also want to tell us that now his visit is more like in Katakunu Ganaba. If you look at his entry, you have a person you know, from Criminal Investigation Department. And there were insinuations and open accuracy then concerning the approval of the zone. Nigerian police do an organization, I mean, or it's not meant for anybody. Yes. You understand? Like when my boss can have a that it is you stakeholders when a police may exist. Even though none of the police are not may exist. So let it be more of like not charge the colonel name. So that if there's any observation or anything way to do with the police, I believe it is a privilege for him to be here so that you can table it as well. That is the essence of his visit here. Thank you. Thank you. My amiable boss, impeccable boss, for his remarks, after which Chief will uh, respond with your permission, sir. You may now wish to give your remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Chief, as my PPIO said, we are here on photo to visit the good people of Anamara and of this great local government. You know, the newly zone created is through the approval of Mr. President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, as proposed by Amir Bulida, the IGP Mohammed Adamo the purpose of bringing the zone is to bring security near grassroots. You know, before you people who there's any serious problem, you always go to Umayya. But now, police is closer to you. And uh, the purpose is save time, it's save bridge, it's save people spend more money from here to Umayya. So, our IGP is focused is to encourage police for us to be closer to members of the public. That is the reason why today the champion 
the concept of community policy. You know security is a very serious business and it's everybody's business. We, as police officers, we cannot do it alone. So IG encourages us to visit important people to seek your support, to seek your assistance, and to seek your cooperation, especially in the area of intelligence sharing. You know the issue of security challenges facing this country, Nigeria. Even though this part of Nigeria, the southeast, is the most peaceful part as of today in Nigeria. Yes. I'm using this opportunity to talk to, to talk to your people. They should maintain the tempo. This side is very peaceful. Encourage people to sustain the peace. Deployment can only happen where there is peace. If there is no peace, nothing can move. And uh, so far, so good. I always appreciate this part of the country because an average evil man is an adventurist, is a labor employer, and uh, is self-employed. Yes. Not only that, <laughs> you people will have an excellent policy of encouraging your use by empowering them. So, with time, we are going to advise our brothers across the nation, especially those in the high institution of life, to come on the sky or visit, to see how people are living in unity, to see how people are living peacefully, and to see how people are trading and making money. And this is what this country needs. We need peace. The only way for Nigeria to grow is when we have sustainable peace. And uh, I'm here uh, to make sure that the good people of Anambara State and Minu go about their normal businesses without any fear of intimidation. We want you to go to bed. We are still out of And uh, you know there is recent uh, directive by Amir Bidia, the Inspector General of Police, about SARS and other technical teams who have been disturbing the members of the IG has mandated and uh, the senior police officers and others to make sure that no policeman harass citizens. All what, what the IGP is preaching is issue of protection of human rights. Protection of human rights. IG is saying no to illegal arrest and detention. He is saying no to torture. He is saying no to extradition killings. At the same time, he is saying no to criminal extortion of money from members of public. So if you have any issues with police, or they are demanding money, or they detain you illegally, try and reach us. The PRO will give, us, will give you people our contact number. Yes. What the present IG is saying, he believes in protection of human rights. So any policeman who come illegally to intimidate you, or to extort money for you, try and talk to your people, let them report us and you will see what you will do for them. IG is encouraging us, you want to see a friendly police. They say police is your friend. So IG want to see it practically that yes, indeed, police is your friend. So I thank you very much for this honor, Chief. You gather all the important people of this uh, local government. It's, it's, it's a very great uh, honor to me and to my team. And by the power of Almighty God, we will do our best to make sure that this side of the country remains peaceful. God bless you all.
village. And uh, it's a, in fact, I'm very, very happy that you receive, you are coming to us as a, the first place you are visiting this area. Yes. And uh, I want to thank you for it. And uh, both me, my people, and this good group, they welcome you. Uh, I want to thank you in a special way, you and your entourage to having opportunity or a, 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 from the tiny schedule to make it possible to visit us. And uh, even having an opportunity to make an interaction with our people, which is, that was our problem. But to say the truth, we don't have problem with the police because uh, mainly our town are, are, are not criminal-minded people. Yes. And uh, our people, when you are when you are criminal, the people will take you. Yes. And that's why they are not having much uh, yes. uh, much uh, root in our place. So if anybody is committing perfect, please sit down, everybody. If anybody is uh, committing any offense or this thing, hoping that uh, uh, we will back him, nobody backs him. That's our rule. <laughs> and uh, we want to say that uh, uh, the motto of this group is a truth, is a world success. Yeah. Yeah. That's our motto. So, and I uh, believe that uh, some good people of the world believe on that truth. And if you don't believe on that truth, we are not supporting you. That's why they know me. And the other, like as, as I told you, police officers who know me, know that we always move in the truth. So, and as I can see you, uh, you are the type of person I would like to associate with. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I don't want to say, if you call on over today asking about me, he will tell you. <laughs> but uh, he knows me and then I will come here. And uh, uh, we are, he knows me him from Yola. I stay in Yola from 1980. Uh, I can say to today, although I left Yola about 10 years ago because of Boko Haram issue. But my office and uh, uh, Yola is my head office and he still remember now. So I'm very, very well associated with uh, the Northern because. I, I, I moved there in 1974, in 1980, I had to move to Yola, so I was my degree. Oh. And uh, that's where me and uh, <laughs> this gentleman served the same master. So we are still moving and we are still going. And uh, uh, I started in Yola since 1980. And uh, almost everybody knows, if you know anybody in Yola asking about this school, he tell you that uh, this school is his friend or, or his master, as the case may be. Because I have many customers, many business associates, and uh, I'm always also uh, I have handled northern zone. Uh, I deal with them because when you age for anybody here, I knows if man, if you can be zonal treasurer, you are trusted somebody, and that's why I can be uh, zonal treasurer for uh, for almost ten uh, two uh, two ten in the northern region. Both middle grade, we are, we are we are always uh, there, meetings and everything. Middle grade, Gombe, uh, Joss, uh, uh, Makode, uh, Yola, Bal uh, Yola, and uh, about here. And I'm talking about, but I'm talking where we have depots. Uh, so I'm very very uh, very very friendly with all those areas. They know us as uh, we are friendly. With. So and the same thing is going to uh, to you and your entourage so that I uh, would like us to be uh, very friendly and uh, co cooperative cooperation. That's what I, I want to say and I want to thank all of you that uh, come from the north. That just sleep with your eyes. If anybody worries, tell us that this, this person is worrying us. It's worrying you. Then we know how to handle it.
not have problem because I didn't have problem in Medigree or in Yola when I stayed. So you will not have problem here. Yes. Yes. And I see there are certain things like the, uh, all those areas, all those areas, we, we, we are there and we are, we are with them. So we have, uh, I'm the only one in it who have dual carriage. Dual carriage means I hear outside, I hear you both. And, <laughs> and not only really hear outside, I hear you both, I have more stake in the in east, and I have more stake in the north. Yeah. So it's, it's shared. So what, whatever, if I want to call anybody in Medivin, I will call. If I want to call Joss, I will call. If I want to call anywhere in the north, even Sokoto, even uh, Kaduna, we have all our, our people there. So that's how we can, uh, we are going. So uh, I want to thank you for coming, and uh, I want to wish you well that you are staying here will be a remarkable uh, stay in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Chief have just said, we are peaceful, loving people, and we will cooperate with you and work with you. We say that God will bless you as you stay in Anambra, in Anambra State. Your state will be a peaceful one, like we said, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. AIG, sir, on behalf of this town you came to, we want to welcome you. We have already here your antecedent. And it is very, very big appreciated. We, the people of this town, as represented by the many villages here, the head of many villages here, we are peace loving people. And we are going to give the cooperation to the police always. We are praying that this is as you came to be the pioneer member of a, the zona command here, just as he prayed for you at the beginning that is, you are going to ascend more higher Amen. to be the uh, uh, IG of the police Amen. in the near future. We are going to cooperate always with the police and make sure that we contribute our own quota towards the security of this very town. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think we're almost done, but um, I'm not call on the they are representatives in the House of Assembly to talk Brief. and to tell us briefly why he is late. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Yeah. Um, I said that we should report to I tell her why they are late. I let me, <laughs> let me start on the existing, existing protocols established already. 
I remain Honorable Kichuko Koye, the House member representing the good people of Akata to constituency. Um, actually, it is not my intention to be here when you have arrived. I am supposed to have been here waiting for your arrival to receive and welcome you as scheduled. But unfortunately, looking at the heterogeneous composition of our nature of work, uh, I can't avoid it. Uh, they are the people that sent me to the project and I must do as they requested. Uh, today, we had our audited account on 2019 report on local governments. So, and um, which I happen to be one of the committee's members. That's why I, I came late. Please, I sincerely apologize. And um, to my good people, I would like you as well to welcome my apology. Having said that, for the JC, or as of you do, we are very grateful having somebody like you in our midst, in this community. Today, for example, let us to know the IG in our midst, who is the head of the new command in our area. There's nothing we can say than to say we are highly happy that you have come to identify and we are, we are here to associate with you. What we have to say is not involved. We must give you the necessary support needed. One, to make sure that there is more synergy between the community, the government, the police, and all that to make sure that security is assured to everybody. Uh, we are one Nigeria. We are pursuing a common goal to promote the image and dignity of our country. <coughs> to that effect, on behalf of my dear people of Agatha 2 constituency, I am saying you are highly welcome with your team, and uh, I believe while going, God will lead you safely to all of our destinations in Jesus' name. I'll now call on my local government chairman, uh, Chief Doctor. Doctor. Watching a man Member. Okay. And uh, the senior police officers here. You are welcome to this book at all. Um when the PRO was say, was up, she said something about that uh, watching a man the chief here is the first person you are visiting in, in, this, uh, in this zone. Yeah. So um, I'm saying that you didn't make a mistake by doing that because as the second name implies, Ezudo, it means king of peace. So he's a peace-loving person and I believe that you will walk very well with him. Um, on behalf of myself and the good people of Aguata local government, I hereby stand to pledge our, that we will support you. We will give you all the necessary support needed from the community. As you say, I, I, I picked things when you were talking about the peaceful nature of this uh, state. We we, we we give it to our governor because he's working seriously to see that this state has the security required. And you people in the, in, the, in, the, in the police force, you are giving us that we are the safest state in the country. And we are. But we cannot be the safest country, uh, uh, state in the country without your help. So we would like you to bring all that your experience that we, we had in your profile. You have to bring it to work for us in this state. And uh, we are promising you 
that will, you will not regret it. So, we will give you our full support we, to deliver the security you, you, you plan of delivery. Um, on behalf of myself again, we want to welcome you to, to our, our local government and to this village in particular. Uh, and we pray that when you go, you will reach Ubo in peace. Yeah. Um, I think we are done. We are done. Um, the, our visitors only, accompanied by the local government chairman and the House of Assembly member and the people with the chief to go in and rest. Eh? In his uh, palace, the main palace. I also remind you that the most important thing the PRD will tell me is that now the first visit in the state, because we think that it's the first visit in the local government, no, no. but it says that the first visit out in, in the Anambra state is here. Is here. Is here. So, we are so, very, very happy about that. So, and I call the chief and the our visitors to go into the main place, the palace. Yeah, that's right.